Okay, that's right, Diana. Hi, Diana. Um, I'm needing somebody to go to my house, um, the house that I currently reside in. Me and my husband are separated. And since I was admitted to the hospital, I have been told that he's taken possession of my phone, laptop, and car, which are all in my name. How do I get a deputy out there to get those items surrendered over to be temporarily held until I get out of the hospital? You want an officer to go to your home and temporarily hold your items? My my personal property, yeah, it's got very, very, very sensitive information of me um, on those items that I don't trust are not being used for my, against me, I guess you would say. 198, can you send for? Is, is it so your husband? We're legally separated. We both have lawyers and we're pro pursuing divorce. Copy. And he took possession of my items while being hospitalized. I will put this in here for an officer. I'm not sure what they'll do. And it's my phone, my laptop, and my car. And my phone and laptop have naked pictures of me on them. Okay, what is your address? Copy. I also have a police radio, so bear with me. I'm trying to do more than one thing at a time. All right, what, what's your home address? Coldwater Circle, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, 29588. Coldwater Circle. All right, and what is your name? And your phone number? 8436. Well, do you want me to just give you the hospital's number? Because if you call my number, he's going to answer. Yeah, just the number we can contact you with. Um. Lee, can I get a number to this place so that they call me back? Okay. And do they need to ask for a certain room number? Um, Which hospital are you at? South Strand. Okay, so and while I was through. admitted here, they, my soon, to, my husband, who were legally separated, swooped in and claimed my personal items as my husband, not as my legally separated husband, and my car and my laptop. So were they like brought to the hospital and he took those items? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And now he's going through my phone and texting people, impersonating me. Okay. Do you want the officers to come to you to make a report about this? No, I'd rather them just show up at the house because he's a he works from home. He was a, a he's a pastor doing this. Five ten. And I'd like it to be as soon as possible because from what I hear from just people calling me at the hospital that it's been multiple people that he's sending out messages from my phone saying it's me, but it can't be because he has my phone. Okay. And the, the phone is in my name. It's not a dual phone and it's the, the, the bill is in my name and everything and the, the car the car is on my name the car insurance is in my name everything the laptop Copy. and he's taken advantage of me being in the hospital and he's taken possession of them even though we're legally separated and both have lawyers and everything And you want the officers to hold on to your belongings or take them to the hospital? Uh, they can be, they can actually be put in a holding locker or something at the police department that only I can get them out if that's okay. I just need them to be confiscated and put in a holding thing. And I get out, uh, I believe on Monday is when they're released. 
I have my release date with the charts and stuff on uh, Monday is when they'll think it'll be fully recovered. Is he at home right now? Do you know? He probably will be. Yeah. What's his name? John Paul Miller. And if you cannot get Officer Wilson to do this because they are friends, he's a parishioner at our church, so I think it would be a conflict of interest. Wilson? Yeah. It would be a big conflict of interest because he is a church name? elder, Brian. No, he won't. Okay, good. It would just be a really big conflict of interest, and I'd hate Can to put him in the middle of it anyway. Description? Is he black, white, Hispanic? He's... um white male how old is he 44 and do you his live sister at Lacey well? lives with them do you live with him not currently no all right we'll get an officer dispatched as soon as possible just call us back if anything changes or if you have any further information Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye.